Hello and welcome to this video from Client Engager. My name is Johan Gori and I'm here today to take you through another feature in Client Engager. This one is all focused around security. In recent weeks, there's been a major security breach at a well-known password storing software provider. And basically by them breaching these, sa these safety protocols, a lot of people's passwords are at risk of being leaked. The way to prevent this risk from being a risk to you and your firm is by using two-factor authentication. Unlike most other accounting practice management softwares in the market, Client Engage has had two-factor authentication built in, ready to turn on from the moment it went live to the public. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how you and your team members can turn on two-factor authentication to protect you, your firm, and your documents, but also how your clients can turn it on so that they can protect their client portal as well. So without further ado, let's have a look at how we use two-factor authentication in Client Engager. So here we are in our demo account. To turn on two-factor authentication is dead simple. All we do is we go to settings, we go to our system users, and you'll see that none of the two-factor authentications here have been turned on. So each user needs to turn on their own two-factor authentication. So all you need to do is go into your user, scroll down to two-factor authentication, and click enable. Then what you need to do is you need to use a bit of software such as Google Authenticator or any other two-factor authenticating app. So there's Google, Microsoft have got one. There's absolutely tons on your app stores on your mobile phones. You download that software. If you've already got one, fantastic. You open it up, you click Add. It will ask you to scan a QR code, which is this one on the screen. You scan that and it's going to give you a six-digit uh, number. That number's valid for 30 seconds, and you just enter that number into here. So I'm going to do this now. Now these numbers are only valid for 30 seconds. So now we've confirmed that. If I log out, if I go to log back in and sign in, it's going to ask me for my code again. And there we go. And the same principle works for your clients. When they log in, they're able to turn on the two-factor authentication by going into the client portal. And on the top right-hand corner, there's a drop-down menu which includes two-factor authentication enabled. Once they've pressed that, they follow the same steps I've just shown you to make sure that their client portal is protected at all times. It's really important in today's digital society that we protect all of our accounts. And that's why two-factor authentication hasn't been added last minute here. It's been in available up in the product from day one. It's not hugely used, but it's really, really important that you secure your data as best you can by turning on two-factor authentication. If you need to turn it off for any reason, you can click on the user pencil and click disable. Yes, so it's dead simple to turn off if necessary, but we recommend you have it turned on at all times. I look forward to talking to you all soon again in the next video. For now though, thank you very much and goodbye.